Hi, we are Nexus, and uh, with this conversation of the Dialos project, and we are here with the uh, expert from Switzerland, uh, with the University of Geneva, Uniga. And uh, yeah, we would like to know more about what they are doing now in Switzerland. And uh, well, Switzerland now has this uh, energy strategy with really ambitious goals about the energy. And but we wonder how it trickled down to the people. So please, can you tell us more about what's the current discussions now and what's in between energy justice and energy uh, transitions? Yes, um, of course, like many countries in Switzerland, we're facing a lot of uncertainties when it comes to energy. And then we have done a lot of work with energy initiatives in Switzerland, as well as interviewing experts who work in the energy sector. But it seems like um, ideas about engaging citizens in energy transition doesn't move beyond the individual and the household level. But we believe that engaging citizens deeply and fully in energy transition also requires a more collective imaginary about how change could happen. And one thing that we also found out is gender is something that's very much missing in the conversation about energy transition. So that would be also one of the main focuses of the Geneva um, Citizen Action Lab. Yeah, thank you. And good that you mentioned the Citizen Action Labs, that you were uh, involved in this process that was uh, super interesting. And I understand that you have some uh, target groups and you uh, try to, to get these people together to find the right solutions. So how was that experience and what were the outcomes about it? Yes, yes. So even in a country like Switzerland that has a semi-direct or Switzerland democracy, you might ask what is the role of Citizen Action Labs? But indeed, during the pandemic, different collectives of citizens start to organize, start to think about what they could do in their own communities. And we built on this momentum last fall by working with citizen collectives in a specific area in Geneva, which is a more, let's say, privileged area of Geneva, Colonge Bellerie, Meunier, Choulet and Vendeuve. And we worked with the citizen collectives to organize a series of events or forums the first one was more of a way to get to know each other. Uh, the second one was about imagining futures around uh, the notion of well-being in an energy transition. The third one, well, we were in the middle of the winter and there was, uh, there is an energy crisis ongoing due to the war, the very unfortunate war uh, in Ukraine, and therefore we had a specific focus on energy sufficiency in buildings. For the fourth event, uh, the citizens selected topics on which they wanted to gain more information and we invited experts to come to an event very much in a world cafe format where citizens could move from one table to the next to ask very specific questions around um, broad topics related to the energy transition such as uh, um, how to uh, install renewable energies in their homes but also how to reduce a waste in their communities etc. The last event took place in January and at that event citizens came together to elaborate 16 initiatives that they want to bring forward as a way for citizens to think of their own climate action plans for and by citizen collectives. Wow, that's a lot of information to be guessed, but if you want to know more, just go to the uh, project page, that's uh, dialogsproject.eu and you can see more information about the, the CALS from every country that we are working. And uh, of course, there will be uh, incoming papers and more uh, information about the great job that you are doing in Switzerland. Thank you so Thank much, Edgar. Thank you.